We're gonna need this bottle of Febreze. We're dealing with a lot of crap today. Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Did you miss me? You missed Daddy, didn't you? Today we're not responding to a stupid video. Although BuzzFeed and MTV News, they, they, they don't leave me in short supply of really stupid videos, I'll tell you that. Woo. I'll tell you. Oh my god, people guess the price of yoga pants? I'll never be able to guess that price. I must know. Today's topic will be cultural appropriation. To find out what the heck that means, let's go to our old friend Google. Google defines cultural appropriation as the adoption or use of elements of one culture by members of another culture. You want to know why I cut off part of the screen? Do you want to know why I cut off part of the screen? Because they put this as an example of cultural appropriation. That's not even in the same league as the petty stuff people talk about when they talk about cultural appropriation. But I'm getting ahead of myself. It basically stems from the idea that just because someone of a certain race invented something, or because a large amount of that race does something, that it's theirs and theirs only and no one else can have it. It's mine, you understand? Mine! All oh, mine! Get back in there! Down, down, down! Go, go, go! Mine, mine, mine! <laughs> now I think this is rather... dumb. There's nothing wrong with liking someone else's culture. Even if they like the way they dress or the way they do their hair, that's... What? There's nothing wrong with that. It's someone someone just appreciates the culture. That's a good thing. But Derek, that's appreciation, not appropriation. There's a difference, you know. Hey, it's Fred, and I've become a social justice warrior now. My God, that is a dated reference. Well, like always, let's take to the internet to see what people are getting offended by. I have turned into a crab for some reason. Well, looks like we've stumbled upon something pretty juicy. EverydayFeminism.com because they're not biased at all. What's wrong with cultural appropriation? These nine answers reveal its harm. So you just walked into a Halloween party. You think you're wearing a kid butt costume, but instead of giving you a compliment, someone tells you that your costume counts as cultural appropriation. And you think that's a ridiculous accusation. You doing something racist? Mm, you know what I love when articles do? I love when they talk down to me like I'm some kind of idiot. Mm, I love it. I lo mwah, mwah, mwah. I love it. I love it. Let's just skip down to the reasons so I can actually dissect what we're talking about. It trivializes violent historical oppression. Now in the article, they use an example of the team, the Redskins, in relation to Native Americans. Most of the time I see it being brought up is with a Halloween costume. They get upset because someone's wearing a Native American Halloween costume. Same way they put on a costume for anything else. That's all it is. It, it's a costume. It's nothing more, nothing less. Someone putting on a costume. Same thing goes with the Redskin team name. It's just a team name that some executive made up. They also have a Vikings team, but you don't see people from a Vikings ascent getting all upset and saying that they're appropriating culture. Hinga dinga dargan. Well, that is just offensive and wrong. Two, it lets people show love for the culture but remain prejudiced against its people. This just implies that people who indulge in someone else's culture are still prejudiced against them, which is not the case. I mean, just look at this incident right here. You're saying that I can't have a hairstyle because of your culture? Yeah. Why? Because it's my culture. You know what it belongs to me. Do you know it was in Egyptian culture? Are you Egyptian? No, nah, bro, I'm not. Are you Egyptian? Hey, no. Are you Egyptian? No, but doesn't matter. Wait, where's Egypt? Tell me. You know what, girl? Where's Egypt? Dude, girl, you have no right to tell me Ooh, what I can not get. Huh? Where's Egypt? Egypt. Yo, girl, stop touching me right now. Yo, girl, stop touching me right now. Come back. Get off hey. of me. Come back. Come back. That's no reason, yo. I don't need your disrespect. I don't need your disrespect. Why are you filming this? Just for everyone's safety. Obviously, this privileged straight white male is prejudiced against this poor, oppressed black woman, and that's why he's wearing his hair like that. Obviously. I'll leave a link to the rest of the article in the description if you guys want to check out the rest of it. I just wanted to give you a basic understanding of how these people think when they talk about cultural appropriation. That dreadlock kid isn't the only victim of this mentality. You remember that Lyft driver that got upset because someone had a Hawaiian little statuette on their on their front dashboard? No, I do want you to because it's actually deeply offensive. No, I do want you to take it down. All right, well, I mean, obviously you're going to give me a one star, but I'm not taking it down, so I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna do worse than give you a one star. No, I would like you to take me to my destination. You're an idiot! A woman was upset because of a hula dancer doll.
And there's just a few cases like that where people think that someone wearing the wrong hairstyle at the wrong time, someone have, having an appreciation for a culture that they may not belong to. Oh, another one of those classic shirt changes throughout the video. I mean, it's even gotten to the point where white people wanting to have afros and shooting a video in Africa is racist. I'm surrounded by idiots. Yeah, thanks a lot, Huffington Post. You freaking hacks! I just think that the idea that something belongs to one certain culture and only that certain culture is very divisive and does nothing at all to help relations. All it does is just segregate people and put people into this box of race, 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 race. Now there's nothing wrong with celebrating your own culture and recognizing that your culture invented something, but when you stop other people from participating in the culture just because, no, it's my culture, that's when it just becomes very, very stupid. Culture is something so diverse and beautiful that it would be a crime not to share it with other people. That's how cultures get remembered. You pass them down and you share them with other people. But no, just keep everything that a brown person does away from the white people. That's... That's the way to go. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the other YouTube jazz that the YouTubers always say, and I'll see you in the next video. It basically stems from the idea that just because... or because some... Of, or because a group... Or because, or because of large, and even if they like the, uh, there's nothing wrong with liking the culture of someone, there's, there's nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong with, now there's nothing wrong with, sec, now there's nothing, I just think that the, uh, I just think naming a team that naming naming a